Hi, I'm Kerry from Mock and Ore. Today I'm just going to set this lovely opal into this pre-made claw or prong setting. Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to set this lovely opal that I've cut previously into a setting. It is a sterling silver setting, pre-made of course, um, and it is a prong or claw setting. So I have all of my necessary equipment to do so. I have my lovely little chain, I've got my setting and I've got my opal and a few tools that are needed. Now unfortunately the stone doesn't quite just fit in perfectly so I will have to make a few little modifications just on the back edges so as it sinks down into the setting. Um, so I will get to that first. I thought because it's quite fiddly I will just put it on a dop stick on the reverse way for while I'm making the alterations just to make life a little easier for myself. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit off the back edge on an angle. As you can see, the setting itself is angled down there, so I'd like the stone to sit into that. So I've taken some of the edges off and tested it, it's still not quite in enough. I might have to take just a fraction in off the sides as well um, to fit it in. Um, the posts on the setting are quite short and I can't really do a lot about that at the moment so I'll have to... Yeah, either try and make it fit down into it or perhaps take a bit off the back so it sits low enough. We'll just keep going slowly and keep checking the fit.
Okay, so give it another try. Getting so much closer. Oops, I just need need a little bit more. Just mostly in the tapering, so it just drops down in there further. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap showing, so try and work out where that's hitting. Okay, because it's so close, I'm now going to work with the Nova point to get it the rest of the way. I've moved the camera back a little so I don't keep losing it. Apologies for that. Give it another test. Okay, so that's sitting in much, much nicer. That's pretty much exactly where I need it to be. sunk down in there quite a bit better. I'm going to move on to the next Nova point now and finish it that way. Then I'll give it a repolish and then set it in. So this head's quite a lot softer. This is one of the, of the first one in the pre-polishing. So it will only take very minute bits off. So let's see if we can get it to fit perfectly. So ideally, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't prefer to cut a stone to fit the jewellery piece. I'd like it to be the other way around. However, in this circumstance, I kind of have to do it this way. I'm making this piece as a present for my mum and I don't have enough time search for the perfect setting 
and I don't yet have the skills to make my own which I will be moving on to very soon I thought however putting an opal in a setting would be a good starting point to get into the jewellery I think I'll just move on to the other heads and give it a bit of a polish and then we'll take it off and see how we go. So I've finished working on the back, I've gone through all the Nova points and finished up on the pre-polish. I don't feel that I really need to go any further on polishing the back, but now I am going to dop it once more on, on the back so I can re-polish up all these edges and give it another hit with the cerium oxide. So I can really get the maximum polish and then we'll put it in the setting. Okay so I've finished the stone, I've done as much alterations to the stone as I'm willing to make any other finer adjustments will have to be on the setting now so I've done the full final polish and as you can see the colors have really come out so it fits 
nicely in the setting. I'm just going to put a little bit of a notch in at the base of each of the posts just to make sure there's enough room for that to sit nice on its edge. Okay, so I've got a triangle file here and I'm just going to file a little notch in here. Okay, so I've filed a little notch in each of the posts. Not sure if you can see it very well, but we are getting the stone to fit much more smoothly. So now it's just time to move the post in and clamp it in place. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just try and gently squeeze these in. I really just want it to hold in place. squeezing in okay, so it's holding in there pretty well Clean.
Okay, so I've got it in there all nice and tight. Now I just want to neaten up the posts with the burnisher. There's a few little marks in there. And just round off these top little edges here. Okay. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Let's just see if I can flatten those tops just a little. Just a smidge.
Milchpende. Mailbox ready to go. Okay, so that is the end. That is our dark crystal set into a sterling silver prong setting. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, please like and subscribe and of course leave some feedback. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.